Hi there, and welcome to Reinhardt Synth episode number 13. And on the bench, we have a Cork i30 interactive music workstation. It is the flagship successor to Cork's previous flagship arranger keyboard, the i3. No, no, not this one. That one's from 22. I mean, the one from 1993. Why, Cork? Why do you bring out two models with the same name? Why? Anyhow, uh, the i30 was released in 1998 as the new high end arranger keyboard from Cork. Its most visible feature is the touch view touchscreen, as first seen on the Cork Trinity. Uh, you would then almost expect that the synthesis engine would be the same of the Trinity, but no. It features the same AI2 synthesis engine chip as used in the N3364, which itself was a rehash of the synth engine of our dearly beloved 01W. Check back at my channel later, or better, subscribe to it, because my next project will be a 01W Pro repair. Anyhow, so its sound generation is based on the N364, but the saving grace is that it has 64 voices polyphony instead of the 32 voices of the N364. And all the arranged things on the board do not interest me, but it has a nice sound, all good. But what is the matter with the i30 I have on the bench? It works just fine, but no audio out, nada, zip, zero, nothing. Yes, local on and all the kind of stuff is all checked, power is all fine. In this episode, I will focus on how to analyze such a fault and how to repair it. Might be useful when analyzing such a fault in your synth. And of course, there will be a moment of zen for you, so stay put. So, let's see what we have here. First, going to check fault it is. It's now part on. Careful. And I want to have one, two, three, four, five. That must be plus five on ground. We have perfect five volts. Then that analog ground plus twelve. All fine and dandy. Let's track the audio, shall we? Make sure that there's some sound coming out. Start, stop. Nothing. That should be like 24 volts. That's, That's interesting. So let's have a closer look at the power section, shall we? Where does the power stop? Here from some continuity test. Let's power it off. These are fusible resistors. So, yeah. Bang. Nothing. This close. It's closed. Not a 
question is why did it go? If this is, if there's no minus 12, there's no power to open, so it can never, the signal coming in here, which you saw, can never pass on to the outputs. So, why did this blow? Six million. Still. 